Good evening, everybody. This is your girl. You know the one. Look, y'all. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I went to check on my uncle today. And when I got to his house, Lord have mercy. The police was outside. Uncle Buster in the car. And his nephew. Now, his nephew named Junebug. <laughs> and Junebug has been a Junebug. I mean, you know, hey, he's some kin to Boog Ad. <laughs> he's some kin to Ray Ray and Uncle Buster. Go figure. But anyway, you know, everybody got that. You Everybody got a family member that's, they, they do, they do stuff. They, they, you know, they do stuff to cause, um, to draw attention to themselves. Well, Junebug, Junebug ran over to Uncle Buster's house, and, and Uncle Buster didn't think, you know, nothing was wrong. And, uh, Junebug said, you know, Uncle Buster, can you take me to the bus station? So Uncle Buster told him, yeah, you know, and when they got, come out the house and got in the car, when he cranked the car up and, you know, put it in drive, the police whip up, got the blue lights flashing, and they stopped. Okay. Junebug thought about running. Then he realized he was sitting in Uncle Buster's car. Ain't why to run. Just ain't. Ain't no need to run and you can't hide from Buster. So you might well just sit here and go through whatever is going on. Okay. When they pulled up, when they got out that car and went up to, <laughs> to that wonder, Uncle Buster says, Yes, officer. Can I help you? He said, um, now, all the police officers in town, they know Uncle Buster. He said, Mr. Buster, I need for you to get out the car. Uncle Buster said, well, what is wrong? He said, well, your nephew, he, 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 done, he done something and we need to take him downtown and um, you know, he might resist, so we don't want to harm you. So I'm going to ask you again, we please step out of the vehicle. Uncle Buster, y'all, Uncle Buster did it. Before the police officer could back up from the door, Uncle Buster done reached across that seat and grabbed Junebug in his collar. <laughs> Now, Junebug eyes, big as my eyeglasses, because now he's scared to death. Because y'all got to understand, Uncle Buster ain't no big guy, you know. He ain't no big guy, then he old. But I'm going to tell you this, don't take that old for being weak, because that ain't happening. Y'all, Uncle Buster said uh, he slapped that boy in his chest and grabbed that shirt and had it real tight. Then he turned to the police officer and said, he said, uh, sir, if you go around on the other side, I guarantee you can put them handcuffs on him and you can get him out of my car. Well, the police officer said, okay. He go around there. He handcuffed Junebug. But when he leaned in the car, he smelled something. <laughs> he said, what in the world is that smell? <laughs> Uncle Buster, won't no good. Uncle Buster said, I don't know, but it's an ungodly smell. <laughs> Here go Junebug. Junebug said, uh, officer, my my stomach is uh 
my stomach upset. He said, please, please, can I, can, can you please just take the handcuffs off and let me go to the bathroom? Uh, I promise you, I'll be right back. Oh, he, and, and he was serious. Oh, he was crying. Junebug should have got a, a, um, an Academy Award because he put a show on. But what was so bad about it, the officer fell for it. I'm just saying, <laughs> he fell for it, and Junebug escaped. I'm just saying, y'all got to use, you got to use <laughs> the resources. Guess, guess what he had? He had that, that fart in a can thing. <laughs> Holler at me, why don't you?